boy and see. Is it worth a buy? Let's read the words of the words of the developer. Buoyancy is a city building strategy game where you build, manage and move a floating city on an oceanic world. Explore and scavenge resources scattered around the endless waters. Keep your villagers nourished and happy while combating fires, sickness and pirate attacks. Yes guys, we have another water buildy indie game. Uh, this one's called Buoyancy uh, and this one is only in Ayrton. It's £10 this. Uh, slightly over £10, I think, uh, as opposed to Flotsam, which is 25 Now, this one doesn't look as nice. Obviously, just looking at it, it doesn't look as good as, as um, Flotsam does. But how does it play? Is it any good? Is it like Flotsam, or is it completely different? Well, let's get stuck in. You start off with your little raft and your few little crewmen. Uh, sorry, crew people. <laughs> and uh, you have to expand and survive and my goodness guys it is not an easy game this because you have storms which will just insta blow up buildings and parts of your raft if you don't get out of the way you have pirate attacks that will just get more intense as the game goes on they charge onto your raft and they kick your ass unless you are prepared to fight back and then you'll have to deal with running out of food. You have to deal with hunger and all of that kind of stuff. Pollution, disease. Guys, this is a proper survival game, city builder survival game. So as you steer your raft around this, it, it's like a, it feels like a procedurally generated world. As you steer your raft around, resources will just appear on the horizon and you steer yourself towards them, essentially with people just rowing, but Eventually you will get engines so you can go a little bit faster and get out of the way of storms a bit easier as well. Now on the surface of the water you will find piles of wood, you'll find trash which you can recycle into more useful things such as wood and plastic, you'll find uh, schools of fish, you'll find whales that you can build a harpooner and you can just kill the whale and get all the meat and then you build a butcher and you butcher up the meat and cook it and serve it to your crew. You can also Go right down to the bottom with a deep diver and get dirt off the ocean floor and you can grow crops, get a, a little windmill. I know it's a bit far-fetched, but hey, it's just a game. You get a windmill and a baker and then you start cooking bread for everybody. There's lots of different ways you can supply their needs. Their needs are happiness, which requires beer, hunger, which requires food, and probably something else that I've totally forgot. A lot of the things that you build require wood because you have to burn shit. And so wood becomes a very important commodity that you have to keep looking for. Uh, if you run out of wood, you will stop smelting. So you'll stop creating iron bars, which stops your building. If you run out of wood, you will stop making water because you have to burn the salt out of the water. If you run out of wood, you will stop making bread because your baker won't be able to fire up the ovens. So wood is very, very important. And the way you get the resources is you drive over the resource piles and you have scavengers, fishermen, harpooners and foragers. Uh, these are buildings that you build. And when that building gets over a resource pool, you will see what looks like a little yellow arc, like a fishing rod and two pluses, which means you are fishing or harvesting that resource pool. So placing your buildings is absolutely essential that you put them in the right place. Um, I've opted to put all my buildings pretty close to each other so that I can um, get resource pools that are close to each other and this kind of pays off when you find wood and fish and that uh, not wood and fish <laughs> there's no such thing as wood and fish guys wood and fish uh, and shipwrecks and things like that with schools of fish around so you can get two two for one guys i always love two for one uh, by the way old meg's doing two for no, no, one now it all seems great and you start getting more and more crew and they start having sex you don't see any of that of course um, but you will start having little babies and your crew grow and you have more mouths to feed but you also have um, more people running around getting stuff for you more people manning the buildings you can eventually start building guard towers and um, barracks 
and ranges, uh, like range towers for people who fire from range, uh, and guards and things like that. And they are essential because the pirates will come, and when they come, you don't know which direction they're coming from, and they will board you and steal everything that they can and kill as many people as they can. And it can be absolutely devastating, the, the pirate attacks. Now, I'm lucky because my partner was playing this all day yesterday while I was doing Flotsam. And, um, <laughs> oh yeah, I, I learned by watching her fail. So, thanks for that. Um, so I kind of knew early on to build more guard towers and things, and I eventually came up with this great idea, well, it was her idea, but, you know, of putting, like, a, a piece of wood around, like, a, a the design of me, me raft, was such that the, when the pirates came, now they have to hit this kind of buffer before they get to me buildings, which gives me a bit of time to fire off me towers and things like that and get people in position. Uh, so I haven't really been devastated by the pirates because uh, I kind of um, knew what to do. Now, obviously, my raft is a bit of a mess, and I, I want to restart, actually, and rebuild it properly uh, because the way I've kind of got it it's it's all over the place it's it does the job but it's it's all over the place and this is the good thing about this game you can design your raft any way you like um i want to put my store buildings more centralized and have them surrounded completely by protection uh, so that the pirates because they go straight for your storehouses have a real job getting there uh, so there's there's a lot of different strategies about doing this game i also want to build a huge raft with multiple engines and, and things like that there's quite a few buildings, as you can see in the build menu at the bottom of the screen, there's quite a few buildings that you can build. You have to build brewers and things like that to make beer to keep your, your people happy. So there's a bit of depth in this game, but it is so much fun just just coming close to death. I mean, I hit the storm and then I got hit by pirates hard and I lost almost two thirds of my crew and I had to shut down non-essential buildings and, and generally stay out of trouble as much as possible to rebuild the crew and I almost died of starvation as well. So I've, I've had some really narrow escapes uh, until I decided to become the Death Raft Cannibal Expedition. We are cannibals now. We are the Raft of Death and we eat everybody. Any pirates that we capture, we eat them. I even went over to a, uh, a poor little group of people on a a little raft shouting for help that would join my crew but you know we ate them as well uh, so we are cannibals guys and uh it's great fun i highly recommend this for a tenner for a tenner this is definitely definitely worth a buy it's great fun it's not easy it's not the easiest of games you it's kind of like trial it's one of them games where you might have to restart two or three times um i did have a couple of bugs as well it ran well but I had a couple of bugs where I had to reload the game again because buildings had stopped working. A bit like the same bug that was in Flotsam, um, but a, a quick reload kind of fixed that. I also had a bug where um, I couldn't get the resources out of a pool. I had to reverse back out and go back in. So th there are a few bugs in this game, but it is early access. I think it's still in alpha, actually. So there's there's still a lot of stuff that's being added to the game. You can also attack um, settlements. There's also other islands as well, and other rafts like yours. Uh, that, well, they're not so much rafts. They're like these. Uh, they look like rafts, but they don't move anywhere, and they have lots of defences, and you can assault them. They're kind of like cities and towns. You can assault them if you get, have enough men, and you have enough um, attack towers and you can pillage and eat all them if you want uh, as well there's also uh, quite a few things being added to the game that aren't in you can see the different uh, menus at the bottom of the screen that just aren't active yet you've got policies which isn't active yet which um, allows you to control how your, visit, your villagers react to events in the world you've got statistics about buildings and resources and all that that's not in yet and finally you have technology which is tech points uh, which unlocks new advancements for your city so there's three things that's going to be added that's just going to make this game even better but as it stands now in alpha there's still certainly enough there to to get your money's worth um, a tenner for a really good fun on the ocean city builder with pirates, storms, and lots and lots of cannibals. Well, me, I'm the cannibal. So there you go guys, buoyancy is definitely worth a buy.